Honey Bees The only surviving group of bees from the Apini tribe, which is under the Apis genus. Honey bees are super important for pollination and ecology. The bees on this video are collecting nectar from an aloe. They are capable of flying up to 24 kilometers an hour and they fly about 800 kilometers in their lifetime. They need energy to be able to do all of this, hence collecting and eating nectar. But bees need to preserve this nectar for energy when there are not enough flowers in bloom, therefore creating liquid gold. If bees did not create honey with the nectar, the nectar would ferment and can therefore not be used by the bees. So, how do bees make honey? Bees collect nectar through a specially evolved tongue called a proboscis. They then store it in a special organ called the honey stomach. The enzymes in this stomach breaks the nectar down into simple sugars. At the hive, forager bees pass the nectar to younger house bees by using their mouths. This breaks the sugars down even more and reduces the water content of the nectar. Bees will fan their wings in the hive to decrease the water content even more. The water content of honey needs to be below 20% to be ready and ripe. Why do honey bees visit the pond so often? First of all, bees also get thirsty and need water to stay healthy and safe. They also use it for air conditioning during hot days by spreading a thin layer of water over baby bee cells to cool the hive. Baby bees also need about 80% of water in their diet. Water is also being used to dilute the honey when it crystallizes or gets too thick. One of the most interesting facts about honeybees is that they are the only insect that produces food for humans.